What is up everyone, the Daredevil 2 back with another Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney walkthrough. To recap what we did in the last part, we proceeded to go to the trial case of Will Powers. And as we did so, we got Miss Oldbag. Uh, Edgeworth was having trouble sometime with her, so he was like, okay, can we not have her ramble on? To which everyone's delight, the judge said yes. After exposing her of information and lies and stuff, we had found out that she, well, that there was another, there was another person the camera had taken a photo of, and it was a child, which is very important, because now he is a suspect and we need him to be, still be a suspect. Also, I'm going to say this unironically as a thing. Cause like the only time I'll be able to say it, but literally, I, I I didn't save at this point. I actually had to play through the entire court trial just to get back where I was. But I forgot to how how to get back to where I was, so I unironically had to use my own walkthrough video to figure out where I was. That is pretty ironic, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. How do I get back to the point I originally was at? By the way, October 18th, 11.08 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers? Oh, what the- oh, fuck, I forgot his voice. Uh, y yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? didn't go to the studio? I- I didn't go to the studio! I was sl sleeping, honest! So, who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? I agree. The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. Yeah. You know, he does have a fair point. What? You should take care, better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. Would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does the slavery? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! But what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. Start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. If we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey Nick, it's time. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sound like that. <laughs> Yo, he really just like sighed in front of his own client. He's like, ah, <laughs> Shit. We're gonna lose the case. Alright. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will, the, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are as simple. Nothing has changed. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'll remember that. The other person who was to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else who could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claims. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind, however. 
Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes were high enough. So, who was the person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the Okay, okay, okay. We can rule out the, the grade school boy, because, like, it's a child. Okay? On top of that, the, 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 fuck. Okay. Let's check this. So, I know it's the. I was. I. I'm off. What a click to answer the security girl. Or the assistant girl. Because, if you look, it's. It definitely does seem like the assistant girl. It can't be the boy because the boy is... It's a, it's a 10 year old boy. They don't got much strength unless they just built different. And it can't be the security lady, so it has to be the assistant girl. Come on! <laughs> Please be right! It was the assistant! Oh wait, it was the assistant! The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture? Really? Whew! Damn, I fucking stroked out again. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture really is the assistant? I mean, the assistant. That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. You remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh. Oh. Bad feeling this time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? Powers and Poor Hammer were at a run through. Oh, and me? What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the Steel Samurai. She could look the Steel Samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk! She would have limped. She wouldn't have limped. <laughs> that kind of takes the legs out from under the case. Mr. Wright? Okay, 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 profiles. System of globals and set pieces. Claim she saw. Claim she saw powers heading to the scene. It's not the schoolboy. It can't be the schoolboy, right? Unless. <sighs> Fuck. Dude, I have to I have to gamble it on that schoolboy. 
if because it can't be the security lady because she was at the desk so it's literally the schoolboy we have i have no choice but to gamble that fuck me ah that was right are you shitting me did it they ah 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 this is fucking ah Okay, whatever. You know what? Fuck you, Edgeworth. It was the great school boy! Dude. Oh my Christ. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm gonna have to edit the fucking video. I just got a guilty verdict, didn't I? I'm so scared. Why is it anyone saying anything? I'm wondering that as well. This is so... Bah! Are you seriously suggesting the boy did it, Mr. Wright? Grade school boy kills veteran action star with spear. For one thing, the murder weapon was with the steel samurai. Would you care to explain just how the boy would have retained it from him? Hmm. Maybe that's a dumb move on my part. Maybe. Maybe! How about absolutely, Nick? Yeah. Fuck's sake! So good. Ah! Dude, I'm already fucking malding. Okay. The security lady! The security lady. Oh! That was actually right? Fuck! Whatever. Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. This means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady! Old bag! What? Whippersnapper! Order, order. It, is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal, to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point fi fingers at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby! Ah, oh, best... best attorney in the world. I may have screwed it up twice, but I'm still the best. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth announces? Does he usually jump up with an objective and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. But what? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, so you think... So you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't sit there. Do something. What's my move? You're not supposed to take this the whole way? Press further! The very same reason that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case. Can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. 
But why would I do something so horrible? Poor Hammer. You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive to- That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Wait just a minute! What about this other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though. As you said. Second or third grade, was it? That, that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds. Tops! Wow! You got some serious fucking issues. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or is it nice to the kids? Or is it... Or is it be nice to the kids and be mean to your elders day? Whippersnapper! I have proof. P proof Indeed. Let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not commit the murder? <sighs> yeah, actually, it's the card key. He can't get in without the card key. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a car key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studio have a card key? Our suit. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. <laughs> but wait a second! I'm not going to sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The wing bag wants to talk. Oh, this broad. Miss Old Bag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, well testify! Witness testimony. My lips were sealed. Lobo Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were... Some other people at the di at the studio on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it. See, so they told me not to. So they told me just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot free. But Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? You told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your, your cross-examination. Cross-examination! My lips were sealed. What was this when we keep it? What was it? You're told not to talk? That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. There were some other people. 
Oh, why am I still ringing your voice? Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? You should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? I mean, where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. St Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map... Here it is! You gotta go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? Um... Continue cross-examination. We want as much information as possible. Miss Oldback, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, you're pretty convincing about having nothing to do with that. And they gave me a little bonus outside. So you got your bonus and you still talked? Hmm. I think we asked all the questions I have to ask. Continue. I guess, yep. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, it came... They beat it before the cops. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Going to... Press. Them? Who were these people? Well, the director, okay, and... Okay. So it's just the same thing we already went over. So, I guess... We asked everything that we needed to know, for the most part. Uh, now we're good. Your Honor! We have learned that there are two uh, there, that there were others at the Global Studios on the day of the question. On the day in question. The director and the producer and er some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to clear a verdict on defendant Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. Prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldback. <sighs> and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. The sentence to today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court has been adjourned. October 18th, 1.04 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Th thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really? It's nothing. Oh, or should I say... We'll be going down to the studio to do some more investigating. We'll have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. Now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have you figured out just who was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. 
Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be a bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there. With or without my ac accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Th thanks. Thanks, guys. 